YouTube it is Monday we have finally got a load well actually we got two loads we have another pre-plan on top of the load that we have right now so we are currently headed from Tifton Georgia down or up to the northern part of Georgia called the Daresville we're gonna be picking up at a Lowe's and then from there, we're going to be delivering to a Lowe's in Colorado. No, no. No, no. Arkansas. 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 There Arkansas. you go. Arkansas. So we're going to be headed to Arkansas, dropping this load over there at another Lowe's tomorrow morning. So for this week, we will have around 4,800 miles, actually from last Tuesday to this Tuesday afternoon, which is really good. So even though we sat around for a day and just chilled, we still got more loads. So shout out to my DM, thank you for that. And then after that, we got another load we're picking up over in Arkansas, and that one is headed to Loveland, Colorado. So we are getting closer to dropping off my student, Paul, which I'm sure you're very happy about. I appreciate it. <laughs> my wife thinks you missed it. Yeah, I bet. Uh, it's two weeks is a long time to be gone. At least you're not gone four weeks. True. Yeah. Dellsville, Georgia. He is back in the trailer into the hole with the empty trailer, and then we'll go grab our loaded. He's getting out and looking right now. We call that goal. Get out and look. Before you back in, look at everything around you, your whole surroundings. Make sure you're not going to hit anything. Make sure your trailer is backing in the hole correctly. So when you're backing in, if you are unsure if you are going to hit anything, use goal. Get out and look. It is better to be safe than sorry in the end. Especially at a truck stop, but you don't want to hit somebody else's truck. That is just a big no-no. So I think he realized he was too close to the trailer, so he's going to make a few adjustments to get it back into the hole.
see is nice right in between the lines, nice and even. It's always really hard getting these trailers back when your tandems are moved all the way to the back. That's pretty tough. You can go a little bit more. Yeah, you're good right there. What Paul's going to do now is he's going to pull out all the lines that we got and then drop the trailer. Hopefully your next one's just as good. So when he's backing up the trailer, he is using as a guide, he's using the, he's using his sidewalls right here and he's going to line it up right about here and back under that way he'll be nice and straight and then he'll get out and look. before his fifth wheel plate goes underneath the trailer. Just to make sure that the trailer is not too high. Because if it's too high, then it'll go right in the back. Good? All right. Yeah, you don't want that trailer going in the back of your sleeper it could skip the fifth fifth wheel plate all right he's connected now he's going to do his tug test. He's all good. Now it's on to the pre-trip and hooking everything up. When you're doing this, make sure all your lines are nice and even, so there's no air coming out of them.
get a tire thumper, beat our tires. Making sure we have no flats. Paul's going along, he's looking at everything, making sure everything is secure. Is it on? Uh, yeah, it's on. It's like a okay. white LED looking thing. See you. All right, super marker light. Other side. Look flat. Right, guys and that's how you're looking at your pre-trip right there for your brand new trailer every time you connect make sure you do your pre-trip otherwise DOT could possibly stop you if you do not look on to our next location So we got our scale that we're going across. Good. Let's see if I can zoom in on this thing. All right, so we're at 11.6 on our steering. We are at 29.2 on our drives and we are at 31.0 on our trailer which means we're good to go max weight on our steering is 12 max on our drives or what 34 34 and what is it on our trailer 34 34 yes so our total weight is 71,900 pounds so we are good to go we're going to do our paperwork and get out of here
Loveland, Colorado. We have dropped our load. We got a nice, nice empty trailer. I mean, this thing's like almost brand new. I mean, because 88, it's a pretty nice trailer. So hopefully everything's good with with it. <clears throat> yeah, it looks like there's not. Never mind. One of the wheels are bad. You can see it popping off the rim right there. Go to the other trailer. There's a wheel that's bad on this 88. We'll grab this 86 215 right here. So, it was a long drive getting over here. Uh, hopefully all the tires on this one are good but we made it looks like this one's good and we do have another pre-plan the pre-plan does go back to Phoenix so 
that's really good. We're going to go pick up at Coors and from there head to Phoenix. I'm going to drop my student Paul off there where he's going to test out and he'll be solo on Friday. <clears throat> and then I am going to head over to Washington State and take a little bit of home time. So I'll just keep the videos rolling as much as I can and uh, it's a little harder doing the video solo but I'll get it. Alright, so I just wanted to show you guys the original trailer we were looking at. This is this is a newer, like almost a brand new trailer. And this is what we got right here. Look. You got freaking bungees on here. And these are all pretty much brand new tires. I mean, the inside of this is really nice. But then you got this tire right here. Look at this. Totally, totally off the rim. So this is, this is what it should look like right here. So yeah, we're not going to take that. But I just wanted to show you guys that. One. to Mesa, Arizona. I'm gonna, I'm gonna drop Paul off tomorrow morning and uh, we will be done with his trip. So, so far everything is so good and not bad. So hopefully it stays that way. Uh, we're just counting on the uh, passes and stuff that we're gonna pass over to be good. And it's not supposed to snow tonight, so Cross our fingers, we'll make it there on time. We'll All right, so we just got pulled into the weigh station and he did a level three inspection on us. Uh, level three inspection, just so you guys know. Uh, they check the basic things like lights, tires, horns. Um, they don't really get much underneath the trailer. Just wanna make sure you have your triangles, your fire extinguisher. And then they'll check your paperwork. They check all your paperwork. They'll check your e-logs, your license. Sometimes they'll check your DOT, physical. Um, but everything else we passed because that is absolutely the importance of doing a pre-trip. And that's how you pass. So. I'll come back on after this officer's done checking all our stuff. Yeah. Huh? What are you doing this week? Good, then? The what? You're a nice engineer. Oh. You're right in the notebook, okay? Okay, I got it. 
there's this. And I put your trailer away to take them back home. Okay, I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Okay, this is inspected. Everything was good. Great. No violations. All clean. All right. So I just need to the signature here and here. This one's for you and that's for us. Okay. So I give you back this one. You guys usually catch a lot of people with violations? Pretty much. Because they don't do their darn pre trips. <laughs> no, I've got some kind of excuse, but. Oh, yeah. Oh, of course. No, I, don't, I never see any drivers really get up and do a pre trip at all. Really? It's, no, I really don't. Oh, he is. <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate it. You have a great day. Thank you. Thanks. So we passed, we're good, no violations. Mm -hmm. This is I-17, just outside of Phoenix. We were driving along and all of a sudden the traffic came to a standstill. And a guy pulled up and let us know that there was a fatality involving a semi-truck up ahead of us and just to be expecting long delays. So we were there from 9.30 p.m. till uh, just around 1.30, 2 o'clock-ish. Uh, but as we went past the semi, you know, they, they had a helicopter and apparently it medevaced out the truck driver, which I don't even know if he lived or not, and it also uh, evac'd out, I think, a couple other people because it came back twice. So, as you can see, coming up ahead, I mean, it was a pretty bad accident. I wouldn't have wanted to be involved in this accident at all. But I'm really glad that we made it through it. I hope whoever the person is um, is going to make a full recovery. But the semi was laying all the way across the road. All right, guys, we're over here in Phoenix. We uh, took a little while to get over here because of last night the fatality accident involving a semi on uh, I-17. Uh, we got in probably around 3 a.m. in the morning. It took a little while for them to clear everything up but we made it i dropped my student off so now i'm uh, over here at the consignee getting this beer unloaded after this i will head to my next destination which is back in phoenix because right now i'm over in mesa arizona which is not that far away from phoenix uh, but no big deal so we'll head back there and then from there to California, from California to Utah. But that is for another video. So if you guys like this content, like, subscribe, share. These videos take a little while to be able to do. So go ahead and keep liking and keep sharing and keep subscribing. And we'll talk to you guys later on the next video.